What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. As you can see, we're back at Copart for another walk around. I got something right over there. Hey, you can't see it, but I'm gonna show it to you in a second. It's a 2009 Ford F450 party bus. And I'm thinking about buying it. Let's go take a look at it. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, 2009 Ford F4 Nifty. Let's take a look at it here. Make sure, yep, 09 F450. No odometer. Oh, dude. Well, I didn't see this. Oh, wow. That window is shattered. This window is busted. Okay. She's got good tires. This is a handicap accessible van. Huh. I wonder what happened to this. I didn't see the busted window. It almost looks like somebody was, you know, like, I don't know, maybe somebody stole it or I, I don't understand. There's your wheelchair ramp. This, oh, there's the drive shaft. <laughs> I didn't see that in the pictures either. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's open her up. I'm not overly concerned with the drive shaft being taken out. Although I, I almost wonder if like the drive shaft or these seats like smashed into the window. Oh. No, no. <laughs> Somebody shot out the windows. Okay, this has been sitting a while. This has been sitting a long while. The drive shaft being out of it doesn't concern me because whenever they tow these, they pop the drive shaft out, guys. So that's normal. It'd be nice if the bolts were still sitting around for it, but I'm sure they're not. It does have keys. Ah, there's the bolts for the drive shaft right there. Ow. Oh, I've got my camera caught on it. It's in neutral. <laughs> All right. Let's pop the hood. <sighs> oh, wow. Uh... Okay, okay, it's getting worse and worse. <laughs> well, guys, the FedEx truck did so good that I was like, when I saw this for 3900 or 3450 guys, this thing is $3,450. I saw it sitting here for 3450 and I was like, oh, I gotta have this. I gotta have this. Um, <laughs> I'm not so sure that I need to have this. Obviously, the wheels don't turn. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. We're gonna have to put a jump on it and see if we can get it to do anything. Why would the wheels not turn? Did they disconnect the, the steering shaft, the steering linkage or something down here has to be disconnected. I can't see anything. So maybe you guys can take a look there. There's a steering shaft right there. I can see it in the center of your screen power steering lines going to it right there. Uh, I can see the, it's still connected. The steering is still connected, but the steering wheel don't turn nothing. Huh. Okay. Well, um, this is fun. Still for 3,500 bucks, I feel like it's, it, it, you can't really go wrong with this for $3,500, I don't think. I don't think. Now, as you guys know, sometimes these things sit out here and, you know, they say they don't run. But then you get here and you find out they actually do run. We got the new NOCO GBX 155. Yeah, it's the new and improved uh, jump pack that we got here. Just got to find something to clamp onto. We got positive right there where the, I guess we could try to clamp onto the fender here. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's making all kinds of noises guys. And we have, do we have an odometer? <laughs> oh, I'm excited. We got lights, brake fluid low. Ooh, 
It's only got 178,000 miles on it. Here's what I'm gonna do. This one sounds a little rough, all right? Check my cables, they feel all right. For this one, I'm gonna add a second booster pack to this thing because I feel like she needs it. Yeah, we're gonna throw a we're gonna throw a second one on here. Let's go ahead and attach it down there. Give me a second. I want you to see this. 15.2 volts is being cranked out from this one by itself. All right. We got both of these suckers on here now. We'll see if she feels any better about starting. I think this thing, this thing's probably a turd, guys. Wait for the light to go out there. That don't sound good at all. We'll keep, we'll give it a couple more turns, guys, but I'm not gonna kill my booster packs over it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think this thing is dead as a doornail. Okay. It's also showing that it's out of fuel. I don't know, man. I mean, you know. <laughs> uh, this may have been just sitting out there being used for scraps. What is that? Hell, I don't know what that is. Oh, this window is shot out too. That window is shot out too. That sucks, guys. Man, I thought this would be so fun to bring to the channel, but it's got no brake pressure. The steering doesn't work. The uh, it doesn't start. She <laughs> she's got a world of problems, guys. So unfortunately, this one is not coming to the channel. Next on my list is a 2013 Ford Flex. I want to be 100% honest with you guys. I've never actually looked at one of these in person before. Never. I've seen them, but I've never looked at them. I've never been inside of one. None of that. This thing is $5,600. It's an insurance car. It's an SEL. It's got 97,896 miles on the odometer. Tires, practically brand new Firestones. I don't know how well you can see that, but nice looking set of Firestones. It was listed as rear end damage. Okay. Really? That's it? That right there? That's it. Okay, it looks like it took a little light bump on the back there. Nothing too serious. Look, it even still has the, the nipples. Okay, this really does look pretty decent. Looks like I got a little, little oop-de-doo there. All right. Well, I guess let's take a look at the interior and see what it looks like. A flex. I don't know. I don't know. Are, are these cars that you use to flex on people i don't i don't think the name is appropriate personally now look i'm not making fun of it i mean it's a decent looking i guess you call this an suv it looks all right oh third row too i didn't know that okay okay third row seats wasn't this it was in a movie with uh who was it will ferrell i can't remember what it was Step Brothers or Maybe it wasn't Step Brothers. Maybe it was something else. I can't remember. But I remember seeing one of these Step Parents, something like that. Step Parents. I swear this was. <laughs> I swear this was in Step Parents. This thing is uh, got a bite now of fifty six hundred dollars. I have no idea what they're worth because, like I said, I've never actually seen them. I've never looked into these. Okay, it runs great. Huh. Now, yeah, check engine light, <laughs> of course. Of course, we got a check engine light. Aside from the check engine light, though, we can get that sun out of your face there. Boy, she runs good. She runs really well. 
Nice looking center stack. I have no doubt this thing probably runs and drives just fine. Goes into reverse, no issue. Moves backwards, drive, moves forwards. Important window, it does work. I don't know, a flex though, <laughs> a flex. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't think you're gonna roll up on somebody and, uh, and flex on them in one of these, but you know, aside from the name, I actually find it to be a really nice SUV. I think it's a little bigger than most people would probably give it credit for. She's not small. I mean, she's not huge, but she's not a small vehicle either. Listen to that. Guys, she runs like a top. What is that, a 3.5? Yeah, naturally aspirated, though. It's not the uh, not the Eco Beast under the hood. Naturally aspirated. And honestly, it's probably what you want anyway. I don't think you'd want an Eco Boost under the hood of this with that uh, chain-driven water pump that tends to go bad and require you to tear apart the front of the engine as it dumps coolant into the oil and starts ruining bearings. Yeah, this is nice, though. I... I really do like this. I know there's a lot of people out there that hate the Flex, but I'm here to tell you I, I love the thing. I really do. I just don't care for the name. I, I don't think the name suits it. But aside from a name, there's a lot of room back here, guys. There is a lot of room, and I assume these seats probably fold up. Hell, I don't know. Maybe they come out. I'm guessing they come out as well. You got a full-size spare back there. Yeah, if you don't need those third-row seats, man, you got a lot of cargo space back there, guys. A lot of cargo space. It's got a lot of leg room. Look at that. Look how big these doors are. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Would I pay $5,600 for it, though? Personally, you know me. I'm really cheap when it comes to these <laughs> auction cars, guys. So, uh, to give you... To put it into some perspective. To give you some perspective, I should say. Um... This is $5,600, all right? I bought a Mercedes-Benz S63 AMG from here, okay? Uh, and it's like 550 horsepower or something like that. Uh, the one that Monkey Wrench Mike has. I think I paid like 6,500 for that. So, you know, when I look at something like this, it's like, okay, I could have a Ford Flex uh, or I could buy an S63 AMG for just a tad bit more. Guess guess what I'm going to go for? Uh, I'm going to go for the S63 AMG every single time. Next on my list, a BMW X3. I'm absolutely kidding. I know you guys are tired of seeing these, <laughs> these BMWs on the channel. So as much as this one intrigues me and I see it sitting here looking all purdy, uh, this is not what we're here to look at. We're actually here to look at this Nissan Pathfinder. Why? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this one has been customized, guys. This isn't your average Nissan Pathfinder. Okay, let's get the details first. We'll get the stock number and everything for you guys. It is a pedal car. It's an 08 Nissan Pathfinder. It is a run and drive, okay? And it says, love loyally. All right. Then over here, it says, diva. Okay. Then over here, Gemini Queen. <laughs> all right. You got some racing stripes, except all that is is Gorilla Tape. That really, that really it's legit. That's, that's Gorilla Tape. Okay. okay, Gorilla Tape. Then someone bejeweled between Gorilla Tape stripes down the hood. They, they bejeweled the hood. Yeah, they, they really did that. <laughs> Gemini girl, again, as sweet as candy, cold as ice, evil as hell, or loyal like a soldier. It all depends on you. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. And as if that's not enough, well, they just wanted to make sure that you knew uh, that they were a Gemini queen. <laughs> this is... This is too much, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really, I I try real hard not to, uh, you know, make, 
fucking fun of people on here. Man, I really do. I really do, but this is too much. Everybody's got their own style and everything. I understand it, but this is just, uh, this is <laughs> even bejeweled back here down the racing stripes, which again is just gorilla tape that's starting to peel off. Uh, more, <laughs> I don't know if this is holding the bumper on or if those are really supposed to be more racing stripes. They go all the way up to, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, yeah, you got a nice little butterfly right there as well. Uh, we hadn't even got to the inside yet, guys. Like I said, there's a reason we're showing this. There is a reason we're showing this. 185 on the clock. Let's take a look at the back first. Let's see what she looks like. She does got some nice prime wells, or at least a nice prime well. Okay, it looks pretty normal back here, guys. Pretty normal. It's pretty dirty. I mean, that's that's pretty gross. This is also, that's gross. Third row seats look decent. Headliner, yeah, it's gross. That's really nasty. This thing is really, really nasty. Um, what do we got up front here? That's a, uh, that's a Nexon Rodian AT Pro. You know, she's been used, but, you know, it's got two good tires on this side. I'll check the other side in a minute. Ooh, boy. Somebody let one rip a little too many times back here. Okay. Um, yeah. Bejeweled. Everywhere. Bad. More bejeweled. Love. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think we're 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 getting the idea here, right? This this oh my goodness, I can't even fit in this thing. Oh wow. Yep. Okay, well at least they were changing the oil, right? That's something. This thing is this thing is just it's pretty it's pretty bad. Maybe it belonged to a kid, you know. I I'm hoping this was just this belonged to a kid, a teenager, or something that you know, just was being a teenager. Look at that dashboard. That instrument cluster right there. Yep. No joke, guys. Oh, my goodness. Now I got to get out. Look at the bejeweled steering <laughs> Oh, man. If only they had been clean, because you could, like, th th this was not somebody. It was like they loved their vehicle and was... You know, worked real hard to keep it clean. No. No. This thing is absolutely nasty. Let's see what it looks like under the hood. How bad could it be, right? Uh. <laughs> you know what? Actually, under the hood, it looks good. Wow. Okay. Um, let me put the hood prop up for you guys real quick. Oh, it's broken. The hood prop is broken in half. Okay. Um, under the hood is the most normal part of this vehicle, and it actually looks really, really good under here. It, it really does. I'll check the coolant real quick. Uh, I think there's something missing here. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's that's fine. Uh, what else do we have? We have a we have an overflow bottle here. Ah, that was more like what I was expecting. Okay, is there anything in there? Can you guys see? Yep, there's something in there. Okay, that's good. Ugh. Oh my goodness! Golly, that sucker is tight. All right, let's take a quick peek at the oil real quick. See what she looks like. Can you guys even see that? Let me sit this down right here. That doesn't look too bad. Huh. That actually, you know, it's a little dark, but I mean, it doesn't. that doesn't look too bad, guys. I'd say that's all right. Now you gotta find the damn dipstick hole, which is why would Nissan bury it so far down there? Like, come on, man. Okay, 
you know what it's time for? It's time to get the booster pack out, try to start this up. All right, here we go. Let's see how it runs. I still want to check those other two tires too. It does run. It started with a misfire, but that seems to have cleared up relatively quickly there. The important window does work. A smoke billowing out the back. Add a little bit. Well, that smells rich. That smells like gasoline. Good Lord. That's, that's very strong. Very, very strong. There we go. Open sesame. Okay, let's uh, see what's under here. Ugh. Maybe not. Nope, okay. That's fine. I didn't want to know what was under there anyway. Let's take a look at these tires. That's a really decent looking Firestone over there. And then we got a Nexon up here. All right. Tires are decent. I think she's still misfiring, guys. See the way that engine is shaking? You might not be able to see it, but I can see it. She's shaking pretty good. I guarantee you check engine light's gonna come on if it's not already. Oh, man. Ah, dang. Ugh, I just put my arm in something sticky. Great, my whole elbow is now covered in some sticky residue that was all over the center console there. Very nice. Let's see, what do we got? We got a washer fluid, airbag, VDC off, TPMS. Well, she don't sound good, guys. She don't sound, that doesn't sound good at all. Ugh. Oh wow, she's misfiring bad. Once you put a load on it, it gets 10 times worse. Oh wow. Books, nothing. Yeah, no. Hell no, that's a hell no. I'm, I'm not messing with this. <laughs> No, I figured it was worth looking at, and I thought, you know what, if it was if, if it was just a bunch of stickers, you know, we could take care of that, bring her back to, like, her former glory or whatever, but, uh, nah, <laughs> not this one, guys. This one, uh, I don't think this was very well cared for. I'm just gonna leave, <laughs> leave it at that. I'll let you guys draw your own conclusions. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know you enjoyed this content. We got another one coming for you this evening, six o'clock central time, guys. I, I put them out every day. All right, and I'm, I'm working on doing Monday to Monday, seven days a week. First video comes out at about 10 o'clock central time in the morning. Second video comes out six o'clock p.m. central time in the evening. So you guys get two videos a day, regardless of what else I got going on. I'm trying to make it where we have videos like this seven days a week. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you guys are doing great. Stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again this evening in the next one.